Well, four people are dead after a rollover crash in Grundy County this morning. Three of them are children under the age of five. The crash happened on Highway 20 near the exit for Wellsburg. Local 5's Mary Sugden spoke with the Grundy County Sheriff and joins us with what we're learning about what led to this deadly crash. Traffic is moving well on this stretch of Highway 20, but that wasn't the case this morning. The Grundy County Sheriff says that slick roads are what caused a 15 passenger van to lose control coming from the westbound lane through the median, rolling over and ending here on the eastbound lane. Now that ended and three children and one young person dead and a number of others injured. In 30 years of law enforcement, this is the first accident that I've had with multiple children as fatalities. Grundy County Sheriff Kirk Dahlslager was first on scene of a rollover crash in Grundy County. When I arrived, there was uh, obviously some uh, deceased people on scene and I began to call for other emergency services to come and help. What the sheriff found was a van carrying one driver and 13 Amish people from eastern Iowa had lost control in the westbound lane and flipped several times, ending in the eastbound lane. The roads were about 50 to 75 percent uh, snow covered, and then we had light flurries at the time of the accident. A gruesome scene for first responders to tackle, especially given the young age of those killed. And it's a tough situation to deal with. Uh, we'll all get together. Uh, we'll have a critical stress incident debriefing. Uh, so everybody will get a chance to meet and go over everything. And uh, we've already, you know, sent th people out to check on people who are on scene to make sure they're doing okay. Um, so uh, we, we've got each other's backs. The sheriff says Good Samaritans arriving to the scene transported six people to Grundy Hospital. While the investigation continues, he says one thing is clear for why this crash was so deadly. Obviously, seatbelts were a big factor here. Um, was, people were thrown from the vehicle, so um, I think if had seatbelts been used, it would have definitely have saved lives here. And any updates on this crash will be coming from Iowa State Patrol. They are investigating this incident. In Grundy County, Mary Sugden, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Many of the passengers were hurt, but we don't know the extent of their injuries just yet. The sheriff says the van was traveling from eastern Iowa to Missouri.